Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Welcome, hello, Angel, man. René, Julio Good. Cesar, Iris, Elizabeth. Thank you Good very morning. much for being here, my dears. Uh, welcome to, yes, I think, yes, all of, all of, I, I mentioned all of you. Uh, so I want to congratulate you because this is our last week uh, of the module. So you are about to finish your pre-intermediate one. So, um, uh, for intermediate three, I mean, so it's good to have you here in class and it's good to know that you are about to finish, right? So for this week, we are going to conclude the section number five and then we are going to finish uh, having a review of the whole module, uh, the topics you would like to have a review and then the uh, final uh, exam. So for tonight, let me go to the platform and show you what part we are going to work. And let me show you here. Just let me see. Okay, perfect. So we are going to focus on 5.2 lesson objective that says, by the end of this session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. Uh, remember that last week we started uh, uh, go, uh, going to, I mean, the present continuous uh, with uh, the difference between the simple present. So we compare uh, the present continuous, we study the rules on how to properly write the verbs with the present continuous and the difference how to use simple, when to use simple present and when to use present continuous. So tonight we are going to compare or have um, more clear the difference between the present continuous and be going to, right? That is uh, to talk about the future. So uh, as I said before, in the platform, you have this uh, video, 5.3 future with present continuous and be going to. And then uh, we have a knowledge check. This knowledge check half is about going to, and the other part, which is uh, number two, uh, is with be going to. So we are going to come back later to this uh, part, and I'm going to show you what I have for you tonight in order to have our practice. Okay, uh, can you watch my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So let me uh, explain this, okay? We are going to focus tonight on the verb be plus going to. Remember that we conjugate verb be with am for I, is for he, she, it, and are for the other subject pronouns. Going to, uh, sometimes there's a confusion because you have here, uh, ing going right but in this case uh, when we use going to b plus going to we are talking about a certain future right so the verb the main verb we use uh, receives like a, um, like a future idea right for example i am going to eat voy a comer right voy a it's a very short future right? It's not a present continuous like uh, itself, right? Eh, en este caso, no estamos hablando de un presente continuo, ¿verdad? Aunque el go lleve ing, pero no estamos hablando de algo que está ocurriendo eh, necesariamente en este preciso momento, sino que puede ser algo que incluso vaya a ser en un futuro corto. For example, I am going to eat in the negative, I am not going to eat. Interrogative, am I going to eat? And I have a possible uh, short answer, affirmative, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Are you going to eat? Uh, you're not, uh, excuse me, this is an affirmative. You are going to eat. You aren't going to eat. Are you going to eat? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. He is going to eat. That's an affirmative sentence. He isn't going to eat. Is he going to eat? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. She's going to eat. She isn't going to eat. Is she going to eat? 
Yes, he is. No, she isn't. It is going to eat. It isn't going to eat. Is it going to eat? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. We are going to eat. We aren't going to eat. Are we going to eat? Are, are we going to eat? Aquí hay un we de más, ¿verdad? No me le hagan caso porque es are we going to eat? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. So, uh, what happens if we have a WH question, for example? Then, uh, I have to write the WH question at the beginning of the sentence and say, who am I uh, going to read? What are you going to speak? When is he going to eat? Where is she going to cook? Why is it going to uh, cry? Uh, how is or how are you going to ski or whatever? So you can remember that you can have um, different possibilities, different combinations. But the formula here is the WH word plus the right form of the verb to be for the subject pronoun. Who am I? What are you? When is he? Where is she? Why is it? How are you? How are we? How are they? Going to, and then the infinitive of the verb. Read, speak, cry, eat, cook, tell, sleep, sky. So this is the main verb of the sentence in this case. Okay, so you can tell me, teacher, but what's the difference between going to, if you say that going to help us to talk about future. So explain us, teacher, what's the difference between going to and will? Okay, this is very simple and this is explained in this timeline, right? This is a timeline. So the probability of going to is 80% to 100% because we are talking about a very short period of time. So I will say, I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to work tomorrow. I'm going to be on vacation this coming December. I'm going to uh, finish my English uh, model by uh, next, I'm going to finish next week, right? Or you say, I'm going to celebrate my birthday uh, in October. So those are very short situations that it's very probably that they will happen. It will, even though it's future also, but the possibility is like 50%. Because when you use will, you're talking about a, a very long, uh, for, for long-term plans. For example, I will uh, retire when I get, when I turn 55. Yeah, but it's like more than 10 years uh, for that to happen. Maybe I can die before that time. Uh, maybe I need to work even more time. So this is not very certain that it will occur. So that's the difference between going to and will. That for going to, we are talking about a short uh, term uh, future, a high probability, and with will, you're talking about half a probability and very long term plans. So let me explain a little bit more of this. So we use will to express future actions decided at the moment of speaking. Uh, we can say that this is an immediate decision. Uh, example, I'll have salad now. It's okay, you, you will have it now because you're ordering your meal. But, um, the, okay, excuse me, I'm reading the chat and just answering to one of our classmates. Okay. 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 I know that it's very difficult to when there's an internet failure. 
Okay, so um, then when we use uh, future uh, with will, we express a prediction based on personal opinion or experiences. For example, I think United, United will win the, the game. Let's imagine that we are watching a soccer match and then you are predicting according to the, to each team, um, uh, we can say performance, you say, I think United will win the game. Or to express a future fact, the sun will rise tomorrow. Yes, it's a fact, it will happen, right? Um, but going to, we use it for express future plans decided before the moment of speaking. It means that I have, I have been planning for that. They are prior plans. Example, I say, I'm going to visit my aunt next Friday. So I'm decided to go and I will do because I have already planned. Uh, also, they express a prediction based on present evidence, right? Look at those black clouds, it's going to rain. So maybe it's, it's for sure that if you have black, black clouds, it's 100% a probability that it will rain. Uh, express something about that is about to happen. For example, get back, the bomb is going to explode, right? When we are a very, in a very scary situation, so the police says, get back, the bomb is going to explode. So it will happen because it's a, almost a fact. So both will and going to can be used for making future predictions without having a real difference in meaning, right? For example, I think it will be foggy tomorrow. It equals to say, I think it's going to be foggy tomorrow. In that case, for predictions, they are almost the same, right? Because it's a prediction, right? So, I have here an example. Uh, I have like 10 um, drawings. And the description says the weekend starts tomorrow and Sam is going to be very busy. Write sentences using the picture prompts and going to. So I have picture one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And for sentence number one, I say, he's going to get up at six o'clock. So, for picture, I need volunteers, nine volunteers from two to 10 to predict or to say what's going to happen tomorrow with Sam. So who wants to continue with number two? Me. Okay, please. I'm going to drink coffee cup. Okay. You can say, I'm going to drink a coffee cup, or if you're talking about Sam, you can say, he's going to drink uh, a coffee cup. That's okay. okay. Excellent, thank you. Okay, volunteer for number three. Me. Okay, please, go ahead. Okay, uh, she's going to swimming, swimming, or swim, uh, uh, in um, the pool. Swim, he's swim. going uh -huh. to swim in the pool. In the pool. Yes. yes, excellent, thank you. Thank you. Uh, excellent, number uh, four, volunteer for number four. Four, excuse me. Me teacher. Please, go ahead. Uh, she's going to eat a bit breakfast. Mm -hmm. He's In going, morning. he's going to eat a <laughs> Breakfast in the morning, yes, yes, excellent. Or you can say he's going to have breakfast in the morning uh, with fruits and milk, or if you want to add only, but it's okay. Thank you. Number five, volunteer for number five. Me, may I teach you? Yes, please. Uh, I'm going to do the homework in my computer today, for example. Yes, excellent. Or you can say, I, I am going to send some emails tomorrow morning. Okay. Excellent, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Imperatriz. Number six, volunteer for number six. Me, teacher. Okay, please, go ahead. 
uh, he's going to he's going to to go to go to he's going to go the bookstore yeah in the morning in the morning yes he's going to go to the bookstore in the morning and if you want to add to buy a book or to look for a book right oh okay okay excellent right. excellent uh, remember that in english the bookstore is the place where you can buy a book and the library is the place where you can uh, uh, borrow right a book okay excellent okay. thank you number seven volunteer for number seven Y me hay teacher? Yes, Emperatriz. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, it's going to. I'm going to. I'm going to go to the park with my pet. Excellent. Very good. Uh, another example is uh, he's going to walk the dog. Es como va a salir a caminar, con, a, a caminar al perrito, ¿verdad? He's going to walk the dog. Yes, but the, your, ex, your example is excellent. Yeah, that's okay. the other choice. <laughs> excellent, just to give you more ideas. Number eight. Let's see. Something that we have been missing. Yes, yes, please. Adelante. Um, I'm going. I'm going to dance with my friends. Yes, I'm going to dance with my friend. That's a good example. We have been missing dance with our friends, or we can say uh, he's going to visit some friends. That's something that we have been missing in these days. Yes, excellent. Number nine. Volunteer for number nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I'm going to, I'm going to the movie mm -hmm. with, with my brother. Yes, excellent. Excellent. And for number nine, we can say uh, he's going to eat pizza for dinner, just to give an example, right? Excellent. Thank you very much, my dears, uh, for answering these questions. So let me, let me go. Okay, now is your turn. We have been uh, talking about some and we have been providing some examples. So now is your time to speak, right? So here it says, uh, future, we are going to talk about future using going to. And then we are going to talk about some plans we can have. For example, what are you going to do after class tonight, for example? Or what time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to, um, to do tomorrow afternoon? What are you going to do tomorrow night? What are you going to watch on TV tonight? How are you going to get home from school after class? What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? So those are some questions, but here I have more. Are you going to do homework tonight? Look, this is a yes, no question, but you can com complement this question with a WH word. For example, why? If you're going to do it, if you say yes, the question is why. But if you say no, the question is why not. When are you going to get your next haircut? What are you going to buy the next time you go shopping? Is anyone in your class going to get married soon? Are you going to see a movie next week? If yes, what movie? What are you going to do for fun next weekend? What are you going to do on your next long holiday? And a long holiday is like more than one day vacation. Like, for example, 
uh, Christmas, um, let's see what else, August, vacation, uh, Easter vacation, that's a, a long holiday because you have more than one day. Okay, so what I expect from you is that we can go to the breakout rooms. I already sent you the pictures and I would like to ask you to please talk about these questions. The idea is that you can ask and answer at least two questions, but I would like that you can uh, change the questions, that you don't ask the same questions. For example, if I ask Raquel uh, two questions, I expect that Raquel ask me two different questions from the ones that I ask her. Because the idea is that we can uh, change uh, and we have in the group, uh, two questions each, but different questions, right? Uh, I don't know if, uh, is it clear what we are going to do or what uh, do I expect from you? Okay. It's clear. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So I will send you the invitation now. I already sent you the uh, material to the chat, so you please join and speak. Remember that the idea of these questions is because according to your level, now you need to speak more, right? And it's a good time for you to practice with your classmates. So that's why I'm uh, pushing you a little bit to talk more. Okay, let's go. Please join when you receive the invitation. I fall to asleep. Fall, fall asleep. Okay. Noria, oye, Noria, le toca con Emperatriz. Porque Raquel, ¿verdad? Raquel. Okay. okay. <laughs> Emperatriz, no tengo las preguntas. Eh, did you search in the WhatsApp group? It's there. Está Hello. en el grupo de WhatsApp, están las preguntas. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas. My phone is broken. You don't have the questions. Okay, maybe, maybe you can read some of the questions for her and she can choose which one. Okay. Tal vez alguien del equipo puede leerle eh, unas cuatro preguntas para que ella decida cuáles quiere hacer. Ah, oh, sí. Yes. No, okay. una captura de pantalla. Ah, ok. Y, uh, alguien... y mi teléfono se olvida. No estoy viendo el teléfono. Ok. Uh, it's ok. Uh, so, do you have the possibility to, to present? ¿Alguien tiene la posibilidad de presentarlo acá? Porque déjenme ver si yo pudiera. Déjenme ver Creo si que pudiera. voy a tratar de compartirla de nuevo. Voy a tratar de compartirla de nuevo yo acá. Déjenme ver si me permite. Uh, ahí está. Ah, ahí están ya. Ahí están. Ok. Ok. 
Perfecto. Excelente. Sí, en la mina. Ya tengo un ratito, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Let's see. What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? What are you Can going you to eat for dinner? Yes. What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? Uh, I am not going to eat tonight. Oh. Because I I ate it. Because I already uh, ate. Porque I, ya, porque I, ya comí, yeah. ¿sí? Thank you, teacher. Because yeah. I already ate. Eight. Se oye como el número ocho, pero ese es el pasado de eat. Eight. Okay, eight. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you excellent, teacher. excellent. Uh, do you have questions so far? No? No, teacher. Okay, think... excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Thank you. Mimi, uh, oh, Julio, what are you see? going to do for fun next weekend? For fun next weekend? Uh -huh. um, I'm going to um, um, uh, I'm going to uh, play video games, watch the soccer. No, I'm going to soccer. no, I'm going to visit the park with my with my songs. Excellent, very good. Uh, let me just give you just a clue, okay? Uh, uh, okay. We, we normally use the verb visit when we are going to visit a person. But uh, if no. you're going to go to a place, uh, you can say, I'm going to go to the park with some friends. Or you can say, I'm going to the beach uh, uh, with, some, with my family, right? I'm going to go uh, uh, to go going to go I see going to go ah. to the um, museum uh, with my girlfriend something like ah. that but okay. if you use visit you can say I'm going to visit my parents I'm going to visit my aunt I'm going to visit my cousins whenever you use the verb visit you know a person right Ah, uh, that's okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, yes, Very yes. good. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to see you in a, in a couple of minutes, okay? Do you have extra questions? No, no. No, no okay. any Okay, excellent. See you in a minute. What? Well, what are you going to watch on TV tonight? Uh, uh, what are you going to watch on TV tonight? Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to watch uh, Rápido y Furioso. Oh, la saga ahí está saliendo. <laughs> Only that. Movie. Okay. Yes, movie. Uh -huh. Now I'm better. Hello, Angel. Can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, Hello. teacher. I have a problem and I get out of the room. <laughs> Okay, okay, don't worry. Uh, would you like to continue here working with me or what, what, which uh, room were you working? Room three. Okay, let me try to send you back, okay? Thank you. Okay, so, thank you. Okay, see. 
Oke. Okay. No, but it seems you're here in, in number three. Yes, you're now here. So, Julio Cesar, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, I don't know what happened to you because it seems that you are in number three also. Parecería que usted también está en el tres. Sí, así parece. ¿Se logran escuchar entre ustedes, Angelito, Iris y Julio César? Ellos creo que ya se salieron, solo yo estoy. Fíjense que ellos me aparecen que están en el grupo y usted me aparece que no. Bien extraño. Ay, señor. Vaya, mire, lo voy a... Me salgo de por completo y me vuelvo a sí, entrar. Sí, sal, sálgase y, y yo, espéreme en el, en el main room y yo lo voy a regresar al 3. Ok. Sí, ahorita. Ok. I going I going to go to bed around uh, 12 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank okay. you. And okay. other question with, 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 with more question. Uh, whatever you want, uh, you can answer me. Are you going to do homework tonight? Yes, I'm going to do a homework. Tonight. Okay. Congress excellent. University. Oh, excellent. And you, Daniel? What are you going to see? No, are you going to see a movie next week, Julio? No, I am not going to. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Okay. hello. ¿Todo bien, chicos? ¿Necesitan más tiempo? ¿Están por terminar o les hace falta todavía? No, ya no, terminamos. Ya terminamos. Excellent. I'll call you back in a minute, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Hello, hello, welcome back. Bienvenido, bienvenidas. I hope you have uh, been able to complete the conversation, at least to have two questions and two answers per participant of each, uh, participant of each group. So um, I would like to ask who would like to start, which team? Because we have just a few uh, teams, so we will participate uh, all, of, all of us will participate this time in order that all of us have the chance to practice and speak, right? Uh, so who would like to start? Me, teacher. Okay, please, go ahead. Go ahead, Tim. Uh, Angel uh, Iris. Okay, Angelito and Iris, are you ready? Yes. Okay, you decide the dynamic. You see how you plan in the group. Okay, um, I I am a star. Okay, okay. you going to start? Uh, Angel, um, what are you going to do tomorrow night? Tomorrow at night, I'm going to do my homework. To, oh, that, okay. It is... Hello, Iris. Iris, can you hear us? A 
I'm not sure Iris is listening to us. Ay. No estoy muy segura que Iris nos está escuchando. Yo también. Ok, siguiente pregunta. Eh, ¿Había una pregunta más para ustedes dos? Eh, Ángel. Ok. Um, what, uh, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? I, tonight I am going to go to bed at 11 o'clock. Uh, that's okay. Okay, excellent. My dear Iris, can you hear us? ¿Nos puede escuchar, Iris? No, no nos escucha. Okay, uh, later. Maybe later she's going to be able to participate. Thank you, team. Uh, okay. Now, who wants to continue? Next team. Siguiente equipo. Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Um, Noria. Okay. Noria. Okay. Uh, Noria, what are you going Please. to do after class? Oh. After class, I oh. go to go drink um, coffee and I go to go to watch, watch TV with my husband. Okay, thank you. Okay. Estaba también Emperatriz. Emperatriz. Okay. Emperatriz. Are you there? Okay. Con, con, con I'm here. Este. Who's going to ask Emperatriz? ¿Quién le va a preguntar a Emperatriz? Uh, to Carla. Okay. Hola. I'm sorry, Miss. Is Raquel the name? Okay, Raquel. Raquel. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm sorry, okay. Raquel. Okay. I can't remember your name. <laughs> okay. Um, Emperatriz. Uh, vamos a ver. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to study my, my, my homework, my, my last class, uh, about English. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes I, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to clean my house for example um, i'm going to i'm going to eat my lunch my favorite lunch too <laughs> okay okay thank you okay That's now it. emperatriz please <laughs> ask her ahora pregúntale usted emperatriz <laughs> para que no se quede sin hacer pregunta <laughs> uh, <laughs> remember okay. que two uh, two questions to answer Answers per member, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Okay. Where are you going to watch on TV tonight? Um. Uh, well, um, I'm going to watch uh, La Sada, Fat Furious. Um, uh, only that. That 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 movies. Okay, <laughs> next question. <laughs> yes. Or only one question? Um, one more, miss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> two. They, they were two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ask me or me? No, no, you, you ask her because she asked oh, okay. you two okay. questions. So you oh, have okay. to ask two questions to her. Okay, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? Uh, I'm going to my bed at 10, 
10.20 p.m. Um, ok. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent team. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing you. two questions and two answers. So, I would like to ask uh, Daniel. I don't know if Daniel's team is ready. I'm ready. Okay. Could you please start? Yes, but but where is my my classmate? Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Hey, I am okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Rene. <laughs> Ask me, Daniel or or Carlos. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? I'm going to go to bed around 12 p.m. Okay. And René? Yes. Um, no, sorry, Carlos. Okay. Hello. What time and um, what time are you going to get get up tomorrow morning? Um, I'm going to get up 5 a.m. Okay. Uh, someone ask me. Okay. 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 Uh, me. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Uh, I am not um, um, going to watch TV tonight because okay. uh, I am I am tired and I am going to sleep uh, in in, Early. in in Early. five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I minutes. know, I know. Okay. It's Monday. <laughs> okay, okay Rene, are you going to? Okay. Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, I'm going to do a homework and, okay. and watch a movie. Oh. To watch, to watch a movie. What movie? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what Thank movie? You. What movie are you going to watch, uh, Rene? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. You don't know um, yet. Maybe. Maybe. Titanic. A phone. A phone movie. You sell John Wick. John Wick. <laughs> John Wick. <laughs> ah yes. John Wick. <laughs> I like John Wick. Okay. okay. Excellent team. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your questions and your answers. So let me see if there's someone missing. I think no. All of us participated in the groups. Thank you very much. Eh, Elizabeth, no sé si Elizabeth ya había participado. Eh, sí, este. Sí, ¿verdad? Pregunté, pregunté, pero no me preguntan. Ah, ah, ahí está. A ver, del equipo de Eli, ¿quién le pregunta a Eli? Y ya sentía yo que no había... Me, okay. Me, uh, ok, ok. <laughs> Two questions for Eli, and then we close and wrap up the topic. Ok. Me, What are you going to go to do tomorrow afternoon? I am going to um to do to to do tomorrow um oh, finish the platform. Okay, excellent, <laughs> very good plans, excellent. Wow. Plans. I think I think. <laughs> okay. So uh, only, 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 only one. <laughs> okay, my dear. Thank you very much for sharing and for, for participating. Now I'm very glad to see that you were able to use the going to in order to ask questions uh, on daily based conversations. So if you see, we use the WH word what, uh, how, 
Uh, when, right? Even though we can use with are, is, are you going to see a movie next week? Is anyone in your class is going to get married soon? So we, we can have WH words with going to, but we can have also uh, questions using verb to be and going to, right? Remember that the questions with verb to be, they normally are yes, no questions sometimes. But the WH word questions, normally we have to provide more information because they are called information questions. So whenever you use going to, remember that we are talking about a future, a very uh, immediate future. For example, after class today, tonight, tomorrow morning, right? Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, tonight, but a little bit later, uh, after class, right? Uh, for dinner tonight, uh, homework tonight, uh, next haircut, uh, next time you go shopping, right? Get married soon. So the, those are activities, but they are in a very short uh, future. It means uh, that they have 80% of possibility or probability that this will happen, right? Some questions that we identify when we talk about future plans is next, right? Next long holiday, next week, right? Next time, next haircut, right? So you need to be careful when we, talk, when we use the word next, we are talking about a future uh, action, uh, we're talking about future actions that are going to happen, right? Uh, something else that I want to teach you is that going to normally, it, when we talk, when we speak, normally you're not going to use going to, but you're gonna use, uh, uh, you're gonna hear gonna, right? What are you gonna do? Uh, gonna, uh, go gonna uh, i don't know let me see any other verb gonna do gonna work gonna eat sometimes in the american english they use a lot this contraction gonna right and remember that when we talk about when, when we when we hear when we listen gonna uh, we are talking about going to, right? So let me see, okay. Gonna is equals to going to. Okay, so I'm explaining this because even though the, the English we teach is like very formal, but remember that you need to be uh, used to hear. And normally American English, in American English, in Canadian English, in the daily, um, in the day-by-day -day conversations, they, they don't say going to, they say gonna. What are you gonna do after class? What are you gonna, uh, what time are you gonna go to bed? What time are you gonna get, uh, get up tomorrow morning? What are you gonna do tomorrow morning? What are you gonna do tomorrow afternoon? What are you gonna do tomorrow night? What are you gonna watch TV, on TV tonight? So, when we write, it's, you have to do it this way, go in two. But uh, remember that maybe you're not going, going to hear goings, you know, but gonna, right? Eh, dicho en español, eh, les explico esto porque aunque el inglés que enseñamos es bastante formal, pero también tienen que reconocer cómo la gente habla. Y en el inglés americano, en el inglés canadiense, la gente usa mucho gonna en lugar de going to. Pero siempre que escuchen gonna, ustedes sepan que están hablando de going to, de un tiempo futuro, ¿verdad? En el corto plazo. Entonces, eh, you need to identify eh, this expression. They are going to say, are you going to do homework tonight? When are you going to get eh, your next haircut? What are you going to eh, buy next time you go shopping? Is anyone in your class going to get married? Uh, soon? Are you going to see a movie next week? What are you going to do for next weekend, for example? So you need to be uh, ready to uh, identify and to understand. So my next question is, now that we have explained going to equals to gonna, 
Is it clear the difference between going to and will? Ahora que lo hemos explicado, ¿tenemos clara la diferencia entre going to y will? Yes, teacher. Ok. So, so my... my mm -hmm. Perdón. I have a question with... Yes, uh, yes, tell me. About the difference be, between, between going to and will, right? Mm -hmm. But the... In the in the image that you pres uh, that you showed uh, mm -hmm. before, I remember that going to is the most probably right yes because yeah. eighty percent and one hundred uh, yeah. this is yeah and will is uh, it has 50%, right? Yes, this but, is regarding to time, to the time that it will take. Yeah, but please uh, continue. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it means that the will is another 50% safe. It's correct. It's more safe the will. Uh, no, what we're saying is, uh, this is a timeline, right? I'm going to explain in Spanish in order to be a little bit clearer. Imagínate okay. que esta es una línea de tiempo, chicos, ¿sí? Eh, solo que a mí se me escapó ponerle timeline, pero esta es una línea de tiempo. So, the longest uh, it will take less possibilities to be accomplished. Entre más tiempo lo plan eh, lo, lo vemos, hay muchas eh, situaciones que pueden ocurrir que lo hacen improbable. Y el ejemplo que yo les decía es, eh, I will retire at, at the age of 55, eh, or when I am 55 years old. Me voy a jubilar cuando tenga 55 años. Pero para eso uh -huh. faltan más de 10 años, ¿verdad? So, many other factors can, can occur in this timeline that this has only 50% of possibilities to be true. Entonces en el camino hay otros factores que pueden hacer que por lo largo del tiempo eso no ocurra. Por ejemplo, puedo morir antes de esa edad, pueden cambiar las leyes y puede ser que ya no, me, no pueda hacerlo a esa edad, puede ser que la crisis económica nos obligue a tener que ir un poco más allá de esa edad. Entonces hay otra serie de factores que por lo largo del tiempo en que yo estoy poniendo esa meta, me lo hagan menos posible. ¿Sí? Pero es por el okay. tiempo. El tiempo que, que... Will es como para... Expresa un deseo, un anhelo de querer hacer aquello, pero pueden ocurrir muchas cosas que me impidan hacerlo. Miss, pero entonces el... El que más deberíamos usar para un futuro es el going to. Sí, la gente lo utiliza más. Eh, si usted, en el, en, el daily, en el daily basis conversations, they, they use less will. En el lenguaje hablado, en el día a día, la gente usa bien poco will, usa más going to. Y lo que yo les decía, oh. incluso no, no dicen going to, sino que dicen gonna. I'm gonna, uh -huh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, porque... It is in a short, in a shortest period of time, es en un periodo de tiempo más corto el plan, por eso tiene más posibilidades de que ocurra. Porque, como dice acá, you already plan, ya usted lo planificó, entonces significa que hay más pos posibilidad de hacerlo. Eh, con Will son decisiones inmediatas, pero eh, cuando ya habla de un tiempo más prolongado se vuelve más un... un eh, deseo, ¿verdad? Un, un anhelo. There's a wish, right? ¿Sí? Oh, ¿Sí? O, o sea que el, el inmediato ajá, tendría que ser el going, going to. Por ejemplo, yo digo, si yo dijera, voy a ir a clases mañana. Puede usarlo. Eh, pero es más certero, I'm gonna go to class tomorrow. Eh, y ya el will para tiempo más prolongado, como usted dice. Lo puede usar y lo entiende, porque aquí abajo dice voz, o sea, básicamente eh, no cambian mucho eh, en, en eso. Both will and going to can be used for making future predictions without having a real difference in meaning. I think it will be foggy tomorrow. I think it's going to be foggy tomorrow. But this is a prediction, right? 
Ajá. Entonces, puede usar los dos y los dos se entienden perfectamente, pero eh, son más parecidos cuando lo utilizamos para predicciones. Yo pienso que, pero cuando usted dice, voy a ir a clase mañana, usted casi no dice, es bien raro que usted oiga que la gente diga, I will go to class tomorrow. Normalmente ah. dice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to class tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque el will, okay. el will normalmente lo usan para cosas más a futuro, más eh, a largo plazo, ¿verdad? Sí, porque el going, perdón, perdón. No, adelante. Porque el going to dice para planes a futuro, ¿verdad? solo que son más inmediatos, eh, más que, cercanos. El, el going to es más cercano más in, y más probable de que se cumpla. Ah, ok. El, Eso quería. Ajá, el will es para más largo plazo. Sin embargo, usted lo utiliza para decisiones inmediatas, como por ejemplo, cuando usted está ordenando una comida, usted dice, I'll have a salad and, an, and, a, and a burger. Es como, me comeré una ensalada, una hamburguesa, tarará. Es una decisión inmediata, pero no lo había planificado. O sea, pudo ah. haber decidido la hamburguesa o pudo haber decidido una sopa. Sí, lo utilizó okay. para una immediate decision, como dice acá. En cambio, el okay. otro es prior plans. En el otro es más seguro que se cumpla porque usted ya lo ha venido planificando. ¿Sí? Ajá. Y usted dice, I'm going to visit my aunt next Friday. Eso lo va a cumplir porque ya lo planificó. <risa> ok. Ahora poco, sí. Ya. Sí, creo que cuando veamos el futuro, ahí nos va a quedar un poco más claro. Eh, más bien, ah. Uh, 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 maybe the comparison now is not not so uh, clear with will, but I think that now it's clear with uh, going to with the present mm -hmm. Excuse me. Eh, tal vez ahora no nos queda tan clara la diferencia entre will y going to, pero sí era importante que se la dijera porque ambos tienen que ver con futuro. Uh, now my third question is. Is it clear the difference between the present continuous and uh, be going to? Está clara ahora la diferencia entre el presente continuo y el be going to? Yes, class? yes, yes. Eh, ok, para toda la clase. Yes, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces quedamos que yes, present teacher. continuous is uh, actions that are happening right now, right? It, they can have a future component, but it's not uh, their, their, uh, their strength. Uh, no es la fuerza del presente continuo hablar de, de futuro, ¿verdad? Sino que es más acciones que están ocurriendo right now, as we speak, ahorita, como decimos, en tanto hablamos. En cambio, el going to son acciones que estamos, we are planning to do it in a, in a very short future. El be going to lo usamos para acciones que estamos planificando para un tiempo futuro corto. And that we plan to accomplish in an 80%. Y que planeamos cumplirlas en al menos un 80%. Ok, my dears. If you don't have extra questions, um, I thank you for coming and I hope you can be safe. Uh, please be careful and I hope to see you tomorrow. Ok. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay, Thank my dear. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.